Hi everyone. Welcome back to Signature's Life. Those who are watching this channel for the first time, please subscribe and press the bell icon for more updates. A diffuse fog in the southern sky. This small magnetic cloud is one of our Milky Way galaxy's closest neighbors because it cannot be seen from most of North America, Northern Africa, Europe, or Asia. The SMC remained hidden from the cultures that dominated these continents. But in the southern hemisphere, the SMC was more prominent, a regular presence of Australian aboriginal stories. It helped early Polynesian cultures navigate the seas. Portuguese explorer Ferdinand Magellan was the first to document the SMC and its companion galaxy, the large Magellanic cloud, doing so between the years 1519 and 1522. The galaxy pair was later named for the famous world traveler who identified them while on his final journey to discover a western route to Indonesia. The small Magellanic cloud or Nimbacula Minor is a dwarf galaxy near the Milky Way. Classified as a dwarf regular galaxy, the SMC has a diameter of about 7,000 light years, contains several hundred million stars, and has a total mass of approximately 7 billion solar masses. The SMC lies approximately 200,000 light years from the Milky Way, making it the fourth closest neighbor to our galaxy, according to NASA's Imagine the Universe. Along with the Milky Way and the LMC, the SMC makes up the local group, a collection of about 30 galaxies located in the same neighborhood. The SMC stretches across the sky, reaching about 7,000 light years across, according to the Herschel Space Observatory. Viewers on Earth will see the SMC takes up as much room in the sky as 9 or 10 full moons. Relatively small for a galaxy, it may still contain as many as a few hundred million stars. Astronomers have also mapped cosmic rays from the SMC and its neighboring LMC in unprecedented detail. Thanks to data from the Murchison Wide Field Array Radio Telescope in Australia, cosmic rays are charged particles emitted from supernova explosions that interact with magnetic fields, creating radiation visible to radio telescopes. Identifying the rays allows scientists to estimate the number of new stars being formed. Researchers estimated that the rate of star formation in the SMC is roughly equivalent to one new star with the mass of our sun every 40 years, according to a statement from the International Center for Radio Astronomy Research. There is a bridge of gas connecting the small Magellanic cloud with the large Magellanic cloud, which is evidence of tidal interaction between the galaxies. The Magellanic clouds have a common envelope of neutral hydrogen indicating they have been gravitationally bound for a long time. This bridge of gas is a star forming site. In 2017, using Dark Energy Survey Plus Magellite's data, a stellar overdensity associated with the small Magellanic cloud was discovered, which is probably the result of interactions between SMC and LMC. The small and large Magellanic clouds are never seen north of about 17 degrees north latitude. From more northerly latitudes where it still can be observed, the SMC is best seen in the evening in late autumn and early winter. Whenever the W or M-shaped constellation Cassiopeia, the queen climbs to her highest point in the northern sky. Look for the small Magellanic cloud to soar to its highest point in the southern sky. The small Magellanic cloud is located about 20 degrees from South Celestial Pole in the southeast corner of the constellation Tucana. To find where the SMC lies, look about 15 degrees below the bright far southern star Acherner in the constellation Eridanus, the river. For reference, a fist width at an arm length equals about 10 degrees. Eridanus, the river, meanders all the way from the orange star Rigel to the Acherner the end of the river. The SMC is distinctly smaller and fainter than the LMC and covers an area roughly 2.5 by 5 degrees in dimension. Since its brightness is spread over about 13 square degrees, it is somewhat harder to find than the LMC and requires darker skies. Given its faintness and location far to the south, 
the SMC was not known in ancient Europe and has no classical mythology associated with it. It does share in the Australian Aboriginal tale of Jukra, the old couple who are fed fish from the Sky River by star people. The SMC is the camp of the old woman. It's said that the LMC and SMC served as important navigation markers to the early Polynesians. The Maori of New Zealand were said to use them as predictors of winds. Their most famous association in Western history came with the expedition of Ferdinand Magellan on his circumnavigation of the world in 1519 to 1522.